any Elizabeth uh, apple tree is quite unbalanced. There is several branches this side going low and then this one going upright. This is upright tree. It's a very good uh, resistant cooking apple but uh, it has gone really a little bit too high and uh, it has a habit of dropping the fruit so you have to really do something about it. I'm going not to prune it. Apple variety Annie Elizabeth after being uh, pruned. It was imbalanced, it was very high, one part of it and the rest of it was near the ground. And that part was practically inaccessible, so I had to prune it. This is a cooking apple, very resistant to all kinds of diseases. The only problem it may have is that sometimes it drops the fruit. Which can be a... Hmm. Annie Elizabeth, uh, cooking apple. This is named after the daughter, this is daughter of, a, of the person who first uh, grew this apple. It's a cooking apple, it has a tendency to drop the apples sometimes, but uh, as you see it goes high. And uh, it has good food systems as far as I can see. As you see here. The specimen here has got really tall. Now it is about three to three and a half meters high. Okay, this is the cooking apple Annie Elizabeth. Last year uh, I noticed that this tree has really gone high up to there. So I just uh, pruned it in the autumn. And look at what happened. It has given more than ever apples that are really beautiful and big. For cooking apple, that's really impressive. What I'd like to show you here now is the apple which is in this level. It's the most beautiful apple profile you can ever see or I have seen. It looks like one of those paintings in that apple book by uh, Royal Horticultural Society. I made a uh, book review of this, I will post it later. Look at the profile of this apple. And look at the size compared to my finger. This is a big, impressive apple. Beautiful. And the profile you see is a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five sides. It's a pentagonal shape. Around probably so those five uh, cavities that they have, cells that they call it, in the inside the apple, around where the uh, seeds are, the seed cavities. Anyway, that's the biggest one. That's part uh, near the part that I pruned it last year, and now it has given some beautiful fruits. I pruned it and I uh, sealed it with uh, one of those arbrakes, seal and hill, and I'm really pleased with the result. Uh, of course, some apples are decaying. They have been early falling. Uh, okay, here and there also sometimes they fall, or the birds may actually peck on them. But overall, this apple looks healthy. And I'm really pleased. It has probably about 20 to 25 or 30 apples. Apple variety, Annie Elizabeth, a lovely cooking apple. cooking apple uh, Annie Elizabeth. What I wanted to show is the update on the, the most beautiful apple I've ever seen. And this is the shape of it. It's massive. It's almost the size of a quince. You can tell it's well about uh, yeah, 12 centimeter. Oh, I love this. It's so beautiful. Massive. Okay, this is an update on the cooking apple Annie Elizabeth. As you see, the apple 
is getting gradually red. It's quite huge, the size of a yeah, fruit, grapefruit or size of a big quince. It's getting really beautiful. And there is another example of it here, down here. Yeah, it's been a little bit damaged by the warm zone, but the color is typical of it. And uh, I'm going actually to compare it with the, with the picture in the book. I'm taking some pictures, just so you may hear some electric statics noise. <laughs> and another example of it is here, quite substantial large apple, well reaped, uh, some red flush, color red. Uh, the rest of it is green, yellow, where it is red is mostly yellow. Greens are changed to yellow, and these are beautiful. It shows that uh, when you prune the tree, which is going upright and practically will not give you much uh, crop, if you prune it, the tree will give its best there because the fruit buds forming there will be fresh and new. This is an example of a beautiful apple. If you want to grow Annie Elizabeth, it's a really good cooking apple. The apple tree, which gives a cooking apple called Annie Elizabeth. I pruned it last year. There's a lot of vertical branches. I'm doing an experiment now by encouraging one branch going horizontal, hoping that by this weight constantly pulling the branch down, it will eventually just shape itself in the horizontal direction or near horizontal direction. And uh, hopefully the theory that they say that horizontal branches give fruit easier will be proved. Like this one, which has given the largest apple I've ever seen. It's the, almost the size of a quince, a large quince, or uh, the size of a, yeah, grapefruit. Compare it with my hand, and you see how big it is. To appreciate the massive size of it, we go from around another angle and if I put my hand under it you can see what a big apple it is Annie Elizabeth impressive Hertfordshire uh, originated cooking apple apple trees have a habit of going upright in the branches toward the sky. So when they reach that height, you can practically not reach and uh, um, harvest apples. The one way of doing uh, good for yourself is to let them grow horizontally. I have done it here with uh, adding some milk bottle full of water attaching with a string to the branch, so the branch comes down. One benefit of this is that the tree will also give fruit. When it goes upright, it will think that it has to grow. So it's going upright and will not grow much fruit in the sense of uh, production, productivity. But when it goes horizontal and they do it in nurseries like that, the tree will give fruit. Fruit buds will grow into, onto it instead of leaf buds. So I have done with this Annie Elizabeth tree such a thing. And as you see, this branch is horizontal. That branch hopefully will grow horizontal. This one I've done it now, it grows horizontal. This branch I've done it now, it grows horizontal. And that other branch also grows horizontal, as you see here. So there is a good chance that this tree in this year or next year uh, will give us some fruit. This is the Annie Elizabeth apple tree, of course.
course. It was going really high. Now it is at a manageable level. We can reach, we can also have fruit. It was going up right like that. That the height of it was here. Unreachable. Unless you use a ladder, which we don't want to use. It's dangerous. Now it is a it's about two meters high. Easy to reach. And hopefully these branches, all these horizontal branches, will give us fruit. All of them. This one including this. As you see. So there is a good chance.